strategy to keep the Millennium Tower from continuing to sink. KTVU's James Torres live in San Francisco this morning to talk about the latest repair plan for that skyscraper. Good morning, James. Hey, good morning to you, Pam. Yeah, the building's about 58 story tall. Uh, you can see it behind me and the ground floor surrounded by pretty much a construction site. It's sunk about 19 inches since 2009. And at first, the original plan was to install concrete piles into the ground's bedrock. But once crews noticed the soil excavation and drilling caused the building to sink even more, they had to stop. That all happened over the summer. Now a new plan hopes to alleviate those problems. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, engineers plan to install a three-foot steel sleeve about 100 feet into the ground along the Fremont side of the Millennium Tower building. They'll equip it with sensors to see how much it can help prevent any vibration from drilling. They say that's really the cause of what has made it continue to sink. The building is also leaning about 14 inches to the west. This tower is mostly made up of apartments owned by residents. Many sued the building for a decrease in property values, a lawsuit that just settled within the year. Now, this new repair strategy may cause the tower to sink about an eighth of an inch, according to engineers, but they say that's okay. But any more than that, and those engineers will have to go back to the drawing board hoping to find another solution. We expect that new repair, that new strategy to be implemented at some point today. We're live this morning in San Francisco. I'm James Torres, KTVU, Fox 2 News.